Today we're going to take a look at a new Honda Pioneer 1006 Deluxe Crew Cab model that's been modified a little bit and go over some of the accessories that were installed on this utility vehicle. But first, if you'd like to learn more about what makes this new six-seater side-by-side special, check out my past review videos on the machine that I'll have linked down in the description below where we went to Montana to drive it in its natural habitat in an up-close deep dive where we go into everything you need to know about this new UTV model that was just added to the lineup. And speaking of links in the description, I'll have links below for each of these Honda Pioneer 1000 accessories with more info, multiple places to buy from, and discount codes too, so you might be able to save a few bucks, all while helping support the channel in the process, so I can continue making these videos for you guys. But, back on topic, we'll start off first with one of the most common accessories installed on a Honda Pioneer, and that's a hardtop or roof as some call it to help keep those sunburns to a minimum, and yes, these 20,000 plus dollar machines do not come with one as standard, like on the Honda Talon Sport side-by-side -side lineup. It's made from polyethylene, so it's extremely durable and has Honda's toolless clamp design, so you can install it in minutes, and thanks to the quick-release attachments, you can pop it on and off quickly if you wanted to hit the trails with no top. Followed up by the next item to help protect you from the elements while out on the trails, and that's the flip-out scratch-resistant windshield from Super ATV. Unlike with Honda's windshield options, you can open it up all the way to let as much airflow as possible inside the machine. And you can do it all with one hand, unlike with Honda's temp out windshield that has adjustment points on both sides of the windshield, instead of one in the middle, which definitely makes life a little easier on you. Then we've got a Warren VRX 45 winch, which is their 4,500 pound winch setup, obviously, and is one of the most overlooked yet most important accessories you can buy as it can turn from a good day out on the trails to a bad one. Real quick, if you or one of your riding buddies doesn't have a winch or at least a rope to help when the inevitable happens. Paired up with the winch mount kit from Honda and it makes the install easier than ever in this latest generation of Pioneers. Up next are a set of 14 inch quad boss grinder wheels. Yeah, quite the odd name there, but they replace the 14 inch wheels that come stock and I'm curious, which ones do you think look better? With those wheels being wrapped in a set of 28 inch tall tires from Quad Boss as well to replace the 27 inch OTR Dirtmaster tire setup they normally come with. And to be more specific, they are Quad Boss 454 radial tires, and in my opinion, definitely help fill out the proportions a little more on this machine as these stock 27s look tiny on it, but what do you guys think? I'm looking forward to seeing an even larger tire setup on the Pioneer crew though, and we'll have more videos with different packages coming very soon. But on that note, let me know what you guys think about the setup and what else you'd modify. If it was yours, then let's talk about it all down in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching and supporting all of this, guys. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. But first...